good morning my dear students in the previous class i discussed about uh, fruit formation and seeds development and embryonic development so i have taken a uh, one decision to stop the class because so many students are not at send the assignments so that i stopped till today so i would like to continue the last topic in this chapter that is apomixis and polyembryony so these are the special events which are takes place in sexual reproduction in angiosperms or flowering plants there are two techniques are involved here that is apomixis and polyembryony these two techniques are uh, enhanced in new agricultural techniques uh, which helps to increase the production and better yield of crops so let us discuss what is apomixis and what is embryonic polyembryonic so first one so it is a type of uh, asexual reproduction which is production of uh, seeds without fertilization is called uh, apomixis definitely they lost this question for two marks what is apomixis give two examples which carried by the apomictic seeds so it is a, a type of asexual reproduction which is production of seeds without fertilization so this produced seeds are called apomictic seeds this produced seeds are called apomictic seeds so there are uh, different different uh, types of uh, crop uh, crops can show this character like families like asteraceae and uh, grass species okay so this is first topic apomixis so it is a type of asexual reproduction in which Uh, the production of seeds without fertilization is called apomixis so i will show you this diagram here so these are all apomictic seeds so some citrus species and idana sithafala ant helthivi and different cashew and all types of kiwi fruit these are all okay and uh, cucumber so some uh, seeds are tomato so these are all developed from this uh, apomictic seeds okay so this is a uh, first point and uh, what is the importance of this uh, apomixis so uh, there are different different uh, advantages from this uh, technique that is apomixis so first let us we discuss the top most importance of this apomixis or apomictic seeds so it produces seed progeny which are exactly the same as mother plant which means during clones the same character is exhibited by the uh, daughter plant to the mother plant okay so progeny is nothing but f1 generation plants which are exactly same as the mother plant and the next point is very important preservation of good characters over generation for crop plants so one seed may have the different uh, variety of character so large in size and appearance in good so that character is carried by generation to another generation in crop plants and third point is production of uh, hybrid seeds uh, with a combination of desirable character so production of hybrid seeds is nothing but uh, uh, especially hybrid means two desirable characters uh, there are two characters are combined to form a new desirable character or new generation is called a hybrid so that type of uh, uh, combination of desirable characters will be observed in production of hybrid seeds so these are the three important uh, points with respect to importance of apomixis nodi idralli it produces seed progeny which are exactly the same mother plant ant heladaga first generation alli baruvanta plants ellanu saha mother plant alli iruvanta character na hondirutte anta next preservation of good characters means 
if the seed is bigger and larger and uh, appearance and disease free the same character will be carried for generation andre chennagi iruvanta ond beeja kanisadre adralli iruvanta characteristics next generation alli carry agutte anta next production of hybrid seeds with a combination of desirable character so what is hybrid hybrid is nothing but combining of two different characters okay to produce a variety a uh, desirable or variety character that is called uh, okay that is called desirable character so these are the importance of uh, apo mixes let we talk about the second point polyembryony this is very 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 important seven time asked question in your final examination so polyembryony was first discovered by anton van leeuwenhoek okay this phenomena was uh, observed very clearly in citrus species if you can take one lemon and uh, cut uh, horizontally so definitely you may appear you will uh, see so different different types of seeds so many seeds are there that is nothing but polyembryony so this was first discovered by leeuwenhoek what is polyembryony the name itself is very clear for this concept i have clearly ex, uh, just uh, uh, shown this word by using two letters polyembryony poly means many embryo means uh, any uh, many embryos are present in a seed so what is the definition we have to define this terminology this is this is it is the phenomena of occurrence of more than one embryo in a seed is called polyembryony it is the phenomena of occurrence of more than one embryo in a seed phenomena of occurrence having occurrence andrunu unde having andrunu unde so more than one embryo ondikinte jaasti embryo sidre adanne en kartide andre polyembryony anta kartide example citrus mango casuarina opantia onion and groundnut so these are all the examples for this character to show polyembryony let we let we uh discuss the same point here so this was the discovered by leeuwenhoek observed in the citrus species the phenomena of occurrence of more than one embryo in a seed is called polyembryony okay so this uh, uh, character will be observed in the species of citrus mango casuarina opantia onion and groundnut so these are all the examples for uh, polyembryonic character okay let we move to the next slide here uh, while i am uh, showing this diagram so this is a polyembryony is uh, said to be true polyembryony true means the embryonic development is continuously carried after zygote formation see the production of embryos within the projecting into the into the single embryo sac is termed as so the embryo which is developed only within the single embryo uh, embryo sac is called poly uh, so true polyembryony so this is very very important for cet and uh, neat purpose what is the so the development of embryo within the embryo sac is termed as that is nothing but uh, what you call this that that is uh, called it as true embryo true polyembryony so embryo uh, embryogenic mass is there and uh, growing of uh, uh, cells so this is a very beautiful picture what i shown in this uh, representation okay so true polyembryony andre enu the production of embryos within into a single embryo sac one embryo sac alli embryos jaasti develop aadre adu nen karthi andre so that is nothing but poly true polyembryony anta karthi it is out of uh, extra concept it is not given in a textbook <laughs> next what is the importance of uh, this uh, polyembryony so it occur it increases the probability of survival under various condition probability means chances of survival so many seeds are developed there okay many embryos are developed there 
at the time if the seed is not going to germinate another seed is helped that is nothing but survival under various conditions in, in what way it will be shown here means uh, in, we have to memorize or we have to understand this various conditions means unavailability of uh, water and moist condition in the seed at the time this polyembryonic seeds are uh, developed and helped for crop plants. Next to, to rise uh, virus free clones, polyembryonic sites uh, does not carry any disease by the virus. So, some may chances uh, carried by the disease, but uh, maximum of them are virus, virus free clones. Some disease free plants can also obtain through this uh, uh, nuclear uh, new cellular embryo culture. So, this is new cellular, new cellular embryo culture. So, disease free plants very very important for CET. So, this is very very important for CET and uh, NEAT. So, because this uh, new cellular embryo culture, new cells is undergoes to development of uh, many embryos because one of the nucleus is carried by mitotic cell division, it forms the total structure of embryo. So, that is which may develop through this uh, process, they are belongs to disease free plants. Okay. So, this is the importance of polyembryonic. Let me talk about the same. It uh, increases the probability of survival under various conditions. To rise uh, virus free clones, disease free plants can also obtain through new cellular, new cellular embryo development, embryonic development, embryo culture. So, these are the uh, different types of uh, uh, these are the different types of importance of uh, polyembryony. Next, to, what are the reasons for this uh, polyembryony? Reasons for the polyembryony. First reason: new cellular cells surrounding the embryo sac develops into embryo just now I told. So, that is new cellular embryonic development. So, new cellular cells surrounding the embryo sac develops into embryo that is the first one and sac starts dividing matured into embryos. This embryo sac is going to divide continuously by mitotic cell division to show mature embryo structure second point. Third one ovule contain many embryo sacs ovule contain many embryo sac this is very very important this is also asked in CET. So, how they will ask the question in CET means in ovule contains many embryos in a seed this is uh, due to the reason for polyembryony you have to write down we have to write the answer I have to choose the answer from the given options that is polyembryony. So, there are three reasons are there new cellular cells surrounding cells are going to develop to embryo sac and this embryo sac start going to develop into matured embryos and finally, a single ovule contain many embryo sacs. So, that uh, these are the reasons for uh, polyembryonic condition. Okay. Next. Uh, these are the CET and NEET purpose uh, points I would like to uh, share with you. So, apomixis has two important uh, types that is a gamospermy and apogamy. So, these are the types which are involved in parthenogenesis. Parthenogenesis uh, sorry uh, these are the types involved in uh, uh, this one epomixis types. So, what is agamospermy? Agamospermy is nothing but uh, embryo or seed develops without sexual fusion means that is nothing but there is no fusion of gametes either from diploid cell of the new cells from MMC megaspore mother cell cell this is called a very important uh, uh, word you have to memorize for this embryo sac or a seed develops without sexual fusion 
either from diploid cells of the neocellus from MMC. So, this is said to be a gamospermy. Example, mango, opuntia and onion. So, these are the examples for a gamospermic seeds. Okay, right. Next to another one is the uh, epogamy. So, the name itself is very clear for this concept without fertilization. So, which means it is the formation of embryo directly from the embryo sac. Formation of embryo directly from the embryo sac is called epogamy without fertilization. So, this is called epogamy. Next, uh, uh, there are uh, uh, there are two types are involved in uh, parthenogenesis or parthenocarpic fruits or parthenogenesis. So, what is parthenogenesis? This parthenogenesis is defined as egg is directly developed into embryo without fertilization. Egg is directly developed into embryo. This is parthenocarpic. Parthenogenesis means zygote is developed into mature embryo without involving fertilization. If you do points first chapter bandhirate. Okay. Zygote is developed into mature embryo without involving fertilization is called parthenogenesis. This parthenogenesis has two types haploid and diploid. The fusion of male and female haploid gametes or the fusion of male haploid uh, gamete with diploid uh, egg is called uh, that is called haploid parthenogenesis next diploid anthelaga this parthenogenesis non fusion of male gamete it is not carried by it is not fusion of male gamete directly egg is developed into mature embryo this is called parthenocarpy anthelaga Zygote parthenogenesis. So, there are two types involved here that is parthenocarpic haploid type and parthenocarpic diploid type. Parthenogenesis haploid means fusion of haploid male gamete. Diploid means parthenogenesis is non fusion of male gamete. So, this is the concept about agamospermy uh, and epogamy, and last one is. Uh, Last one is uh, types of uh, epogamy, oh, sorry, parthenogenesis. Next, uh, significance of double fertilization. So, I would like to take the photo from that uh, gallery, right. Significance of, significance of double fertilization. So, I have to discuss this point uh, in previous class actually. So, if you confused with this concept, so that I, uh, I uh, leave that concept. Now, I would like to explain very important topic for 5 marks in your examination. So, significance of double fertilization. See, what are the significance or what are the steps are taken in double fertilization. First, we have six uh, uh, significances are there for double fertilization. This uh, question is asked for many times in your examination. I think uh, it was asked four to five times for directly for three and five marks question. Very, 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 very important for uh, your examination. Okay, let us I uh, explain the concept of significance of double fertilization. So, double fertilization gives rise to an endosperm. First, what is double fertilization? Syngamy and triple fusion is called double fertilization. Syngamy means that is formation of zygote. Syngamy and triple fusion means formation of primary endosperm PEN. So, this is a most important point. This two 
or collectively called it as double fertilization. So, in what way this double fertilization is takes place further it is helped for anything. So, that is nothing but significance of uh, double fertilization here. Okay. See, so this uh, first point double fertilization gives rise to endosperm for provide nourishment to the developing embryo. This is very 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 important. PEN is developed now that is helped for development of embryo in further uh, development process. Next, uh, it increases the viability of seeds of angiosperms. Viability, so means uh, it increases the viability means uh, that is the pro, uh, viability is nothing but uh, so the seeds uh, helped for uh, uh, immediate uh, seed germination means uh, to protect from the climatic condition. Viability means have strength or resistance to formation of seeds in angiosperms. Next, uh, it utilizes both male gamete produced the pollen grain. So, there are two gametes are produced during male gametophyte development means one of the male uh, nuclei is going to fuse to form the diploid zygote, another male gamete is fused to uh, moves to the center of the embryo sac where the pollen uh, sorry uh, that is uh, polar nuclei is formed uh, is there no. So, that is fused with that and it forms the primary endosperm nucleus ok that is PEN. So, that we discussed here. Next uh, during fertilization diploid zygote formed through syngamy already I told that and polar nuclei fuses with one male gametes to produce triploid uh, uh, primary endosperm nucleus. So, this PEN helped for further development of uh, embryo. These are the 5 points I had to memorize for a long time. I will uh, repeat the same point here. So, gives rise to the development that uh, provides nourishment to the developing embryo and it increases the viability of seeds of angiosperms and it helps for uh, both male gametes during uh, production of uh, zygote and formation of zygote and uh, uh, formation of uh, primary endosperm nucleus from the pollen grain. Next, during fertilization diploid zygote formed through syngamy, polar nuclei fuses with one male gametes to form the uh, triploid uh, uh, endosperm that is called primary endosperm nucleus. This PEN is helped for uh, further development of embryo. So, friends, this is the concept of significance of double fertilization. So, Already I have asked uh, 5 or 6 questions when I <coughs> send this concept as a key points before I explain this concept. I will repeat the same questions. I will give you 6 questions for your uh, assignment. You have to answer the question and so many students are escaping to uh, send the assignment. So, I do not have interest to continue my class. If you are in if you are uh, actively participate what I asked the questions, what I send the assignments, if you can give the responses responded very well, then I have I to uh, struggle to take classes, otherwise I do not want. If you are not interested means uh, I do not have interest to continue the class. So, if you are actively participate, what I am sending the assignments, you have to answer the questions and send to my personal number ok. Then only my uh, my class will be continued otherwise I will take uh, 4 or 5 days uh, 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 one class to another class I will take 2 to 3 days rest for that ok. So, if we can actively participate then I will take uh, continuous classes daily otherwise I do not want to take because you do not have interest why should I take rest? Uh, much struggle for that ok. So, I would like to ask the 6 questions in the assignment what is apomixis and second one is what is polyembryonic. Third question what is the significance of double fertilization. Next expand the term PEN. Fifth question how can you differentiate between apomixis and polyembryonic? Next, who was first discovered polyembryonic condition? So, these are the 6 questions are very important for your examination. So, that is end the chapter of 
biggest chapter sexual reproduction in flowering plants botany part chapter second chapter is totally completed to next uh, tomorrow i am going to take a uh, uh, new chapter that is uh, principles of inheritance and variations so this is uh, very important for 10 marks chapter general paper but uh, this time uh, they will ask for 20 marks 15 marks more than 15 marks so that uh, I have to discuss the chapter already they have sent some videos but have you understood or not I don't know so I will explain each and every point in that chapter principles of inheritance and variations mono Mendelian principles and Morgan principles are there all will be discussed in coming classes wish you all the best uh, you have to answer the questions what I asked in the assignment and uh, one more uh, thing I have to uh, I would like to say one thing so on Thursday I will send you one question paper on Friday you have to come to the college and write the test so, okay it is mandatory to all so actively participate to write this test because I have successfully completed the second chapter biggest chapter uh, I will send you one question paper on uh, Wednesday evening or Thursday ok or uh, definitely uh, th today is uh, Wednesday right so tomorrow I will send one question paper for your better practice on Friday or I will uh, tell you one date uh, on that day you have to come and uh, uh, write the test so wish you all the best thank you very much